Hey folks, how you guys doing today? Jimmy Roberts here, your local real estate professional. And today I wanted to take a quick second to talk about this idea of uniqueness amongst residential properties or any properties for that matter. So let's get a couple of uh, things out of the way. First and foremost, we all know that any real estate is unique and that, you know, there's only one particular piece of land that is like that piece of land. There are not two of them. We understand that. Uh, so we got that out of the way. So in the comments, I don't want to hear anything about, you know, all real estate is unique stuff. That's not what I'm talking about today. Today, I'm really talking about uh, functionality and appeal and how those things kind of make a property, quote unquote, unique. But more importantly, and this is the real question, how much is that uniqueness really worth in terms of market value? So for instance, if you have a property that is newer constructed, that is located on, you know, a, a lake, an inland lake, a small lake, um, it's newer constructed, average size, couple of bedrooms, looks nice, really well constructed. Is that unique? Now, the answer to that is going to probably piss off in my opinion my answer to that i should say is probably really going to upset a lot of homeowners and a lot of realtors in particular for this very reason i say no and i say no for these very reasons one this property is probably not the only newer property that was constructed on a lake that is average square foot that was constructed with good quality building materials so there you go it's not unique that said, even though it is not unique, that does not mean that it's not a very nice property and should be valued accordingly and probably is very appealing to a lot of people. But the question becomes, how much is that appeal really worth, especially when you compare it to other, say, waterfront properties that are newer constructed? That's the question. I had that come up uh, not too long ago in, in one of our appraisal assignments and we're going back and forth. So I, I decided to make this video, but that is the real question, right? Um, if you have a situation where you have a house where you, you know, uh, all houses have unique aspects to them, but, but not all, but just because something has a unique aspect to it does not translate to a change in value. In some cases, that uniqueness might even uh, affect value in a negative way. For instance, years ago, I appraised a property that was originally constructed as a three-bedroom home. Uh, the homeowners had decided to basically, it was a, a one-story property, the homeowners decided to eliminate two of the three bedrooms and turn uh, and combine them. So basically what you had is you had a huge suite like feel it was almost as if you were in a casino uh you know one of the big suites in the casino and then the homeowners took it one step further they expanded the master bed bathroom and basically knocked down all the walls and put a hot tub in their bedroom so it was really like a las vegas style suite room that you would at least the ones that i'm thinking of you know uh so that home was truly unique did it affect, did its value increase because of uniqueness? Absolutely not. In fact, probably just the opposite, right? Because they knocked down those two bedrooms or combined those two bedrooms, uh, there was a loss, immediate loss of functionality. Uh, the addition of the hot tub, most people, uh, most people really don't want a big old hot tub sitting in the middle of their bedroom. So there is a depreciation for that and that had to be uh, obsolescence for that. So that had to be accounted for. So again, here the, the question of whether or not a property is unique or not shouldn't really be the question you're, you're, you're thinking about when you're marketing a property. The question should be, which features in this property affect value? Maybe it's the size, maybe it's the bedroom count. Maybe it's the decor, maybe it's the, the materials that with which it was constructed or some combination of all of those. I don't know. But those are the questions that you really need to be ask, answering when you're trying to figure out how much a property should be valued at. 
that's it for today. If you have any other questions or concerns, please give me a call or drop us an email. Jimmy Roberts here, your local real estate professional. Uh, by professional, I mean investor, appraiser, and broker. See, I do all three, triple threat. So if, like I said, if you need any, have any questions or anything, give us a call. You can see our information down below. And even if you'd like to partner with us on some projects, give us a call. Talk to you later.